Yo, 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 what's going on, everybody? It's your boy Kid back at it again today with a uh, special one. We got Al Murray proves that Britain has um, beaten every country in world wars. Uh, this one is from the homie Bunny Monster. So, shout out to you, homie. Um, thanks for the awesome suggestion. Uh, we, we'll keep uh, getting through these suggestions. Um, and I just want to keep telling you guys, thank you guys. That really means the world to me. So, let's get it. Let's watch it. Let's see what's up. And uh, let's see if we get some good laughs. Check it. Now, Domino 5 is at this point somewhere across the world, someone declares war on Great Britain. It could happen. Now, it could happen because, after all, we have got a fair few grudges stacked up against us. Because we have defeated every single fucking country in the world at war. Name a country, Gary. Germany. Germany, 1945. Thank you very much. <laughs> very recent job done twice in one century. If only they tried again around 99, we've got the fucking hat trick. <laughs> Another country, please. Argentina. Argentina, 82, no help for no one else. And that, of course, was a war not for oil, but for penguins. Because we all know <laughs> penguins are an essential ingredient in making Guinness. Oh, my. oh <laughs> shit. <laughs> you boil them up, the white stuff floats to the top, job done. Woo! Another country, please. France. Another one. France, thank you. We're in 1815, Waterloo. We haven't heard from them since. Yeah, another one, please. <laughs> Canada, yeah, Canada used to be part of the British Empire, which means they're an ally of ours, as you know, being an ally of ours counts as losing to us. <laughs> <laughs> Why else are the Canadians so miserable? Another one, please. Oh, shit. Hey? Spain, Spain 1588, Battle of the Armada. Thank you, sir. We haven't heard from them since. Another one. <laughs> Uganda. Uh, that was an African colony, of course, that at one point used to belong to the Germans. And in 1919, the League of Nations, as you know, when the Treaty of Versailles, when the world was redivided, and the African colonies were partitioned, <laughs> uh, separated between France and, uh, and Great Britain. And we got Uganda as a result simply of uh, it being defeat the Germans. We got given Uganda, which sounds like fucking winning there, without even having to go there. Result. <laughs> Another one, please. Oh, Another shit. One. Another one. Hey, now. That was, uh, what you call it, a mouthful right there. Holy shit. We need to go to more pub quizzes, love. Another one, please. <laughs> hey, United States. All right, OK. You're thinking War of Independence. America finds itself free of Great Britain. Yeah, they see that as a win. We see that as a lucky fucking escape. <laughs> <laughs> but let's not forget, in the War of 1812 to 1814, the Royal Navy sailed up the Potomac River, set fire to the White House, and the Americans had to whitewash it to cover up the fire damage, which is why it's called the White House. The Americans sued for peace at the end of 1814, even though they won a battle at the end of the war. They, the war was already over. The stupid fuckers were still fighting, <laughs> even though they'd already <laughs> lost. And that is America, and they've been working for us ever since. Another one, please. <laughs> Belgium! 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 Belgium, of course, is a creation of the uh, series of treaties that came out at the end of the Napoleonic Wars, in, uh, the fallout of Waterloo 1815. It was the Duchy of, the Duchy of Burgundy, of course, and the Netherlands states were divided up, divided up into two buffer zones in order to prevent any one single Jesus. power taking control of the Netherlands, which is, of course, our dangerous flank between Germany and France, and we don't like European hegemony of one power, and that's why Belgium and Holland were cut up to two in a buffer zone created. And I think if you create a country out of thin fucking air, you've won. Another one, please. <laughs> I like that he gets a lot of the crowd uh, participation and stuff. Uh, that That's a good thing, I think, uh, comedians. Not all of them do well with it. I think he does a really good job um, of getting the crowd to answer and stuff. Because sometimes some of the crowds are, like, very scared and hesitant. And he does a good job uh, with it. <laughs> well, props to him. Italy. Yeah, Italy. 1943. Bot folded early, didn't they? Another one, please. <laughs> but, but, hey? China! Opium War, 1860. Another one, please. Burkina Faso. Hey? Burkina Faso. Burkina Faso used to be a German colony. I referred to my previous answer. Another one, please. Yeah. Hey? Norway. 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 They used to be the Vikings, love. We saw them off in the end, didn't we? <laughs> and look at that. That's a come down. Once they were Vikings, now look at them. Norwegians. That's a fucking collapse, isn't it? Oh, <laughs> From horny helmets to... Horny no helmets. helmets. <laughs> Another one, please. <laughs> Japan, we've got the Yanks to do it for us. Another one. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Peru. What language do they speak in Peru, sir? Portuguese. Portuguese. No, they don't, actually. They speak Spanish. Oh. Yeah, which He's means out. in 1512, when Pope Julius XII divided the New World into two lines, two sections down the line of longitude 129, the stuff of the east of that went to Portugal, which is why they speak Portuguese in Brazil, the stuff of the west of that went to Spain, which means Peru was technically part of Spain when we defeated Spain in 1598, back in the Armada, so we done Peru without having had a visit. <laughs> Job done. <laughs> Can't argue with it. So, like I say, at some point, some country somewhere across the world declares war. Probably Saddam Hussein's Iraq. It could happen. 
what'd you guys think about this one again i i like that he gets the crowd uh participation on it um you don't always see that uh unless they're ripping up on the audience and stuff like that um take it with a grain of salt everything that he's saying um i actually think that he's a pretty good comedian um i really i really do he is pretty funny and stuff like that um any any comedian that gets the crowd behind you is good uh because you don't feel like you see that happen often um there's some that that you see it but uh i guess i'm watching maybe more to the newer stuff i don't know it feels like a lo little different and stuff so i actually think al murray is really good um what other al murray stuff would you guys like to see um let it let me know in the comments below of course guys uh just tell me what you guys want to see we're getting to it um i'm having a blast checking out a lot of these things that we wouldn't probably normally see or 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 know and stuff like that because you know being that we are american and stuff like that you know what we've grown watching is is probably much more different from you guys so you kind of open up the doors for me to see uh different comedy that we wouldn't have to see so I, that's why i'm always very appreciative of it and stuff like that and i don't get offended easily you know whether it's just someone is this in our country or not so like that um uh, because I, again, I, I'm able to take a joke and stuff, which some people can't and stuff. But guys, love you guys. We'll see you soon. Um, let me know what you liked about it. Uh, you know, I like the banter. I like all that stuff. So keep it coming. Peace and love, guys. Peace.